Okay, so I did do my ballet class last year, uh, last week, wow, on my 35th birthday um, at the new Cincinnati Ballet Studios. Um, I actually took from a teacher, um, Isabel, who I took a few classes from in the adult um, classes back when they were in the old studio. So that was a while ago because the very last class I took was Cincinnati Ballet before this one was the day they shut everything down for COVID. <laughs> literally the last class they offered that day. Um, so it's been a while. Um, and since then they've built and finished their whole uh, new studios and they've been there a while, but I moved away. So um, that on top of, it, it was still a challenge to get down there from here. Um, that on top of the fact that like we live out, it's probably a good like 35, 40 minutes to get into where the Sinsai Valley is from where we live. It depends on traffic. It took actually even longer on my birthday because we we're going in at rush hour because it was a morning class and it was also storming so the roads were like a mess with all the rain and everything so that being said um it was a little stressful we couldn't find the door i had to finally ask a girl because i could not figure out how to get in and thankfully she was actually going to take the same class as me but she also was a teacher there too and she's like oh we just go in this door you just have to be buzzed in i was like okay and then my husband and i found out later that when we went up the elevator and went to the main area there is actually front doors so <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was an experience just trying to get in the building alone. <laughs> um, I wanted to take more photos and things, but like, since I went in with her and like was talking to her, like even while I was putting on my point shoes and stuff, I really didn't get to do anything else. I keep forgetting. I filmed quite a bit of the class on my cell phone, but I really haven't gone through those videos. Um, I'm really out of practice at filming myself during classes cause it's been a while. And like when you're in a new studio too, you kind of got to figure out the best placement for that. I thought I had found the best place, but then I ended up being at the front of the bar for everything, which I did not want to do and I didn't do that on purpose, but like everybody ended up staying behind me on the back wall. And I'm like, great, I don't want to lead all the combinations and I'm staring at a wall so I can't see the teacher doing them. So I was frustrated. Um, and the lady behind me, she ended up being nice, but she was just kind of very standoffish at first and she stood so close to me. And I was like, there are three of us in this entire studio. You do not need to be right on my tail here. <laughs> but so that, yeah, anyway, uh, like, in theory, I could have moved, but I didn't want to look rude, so I didn't. Um, but anyway, it was a good class. It was an intermediate level class, but it was like, it wasn't too hard for intermediate, but it was also like definitely not a beginner class. Um, so it felt like a good, like a good level for me, especially having not taken a in-class, in-person class since last summer in Salt Lake. Um, yeah, because the last classes I took in a studio were at the Ballet West um, Art Emotion Intensive last year. So it's been a while. Um, being in that class, getting out of that class and just sitting for a little bit, like my husband took a few photos of me outside the class and everything, which was really nice. Um, I have, I had this strong, strong feeling of, I wish I could take classes more. I wish I could be back in classes. And a lot of it is, is finances, but a lot of it's also, we don't live near there. Like that is a lot to try and do. And he would have to drive me because that is more than I can handle with my driving anxiety. So it's just hard. I do have a friend who reached out to me afterwards that I haven't seen since the classes I took up near Dayton, um, back when I moved back here in 2016. Um, and that's when I met her and she actually was like, Hey, are you taking classes there? I go usually like three times a week. And I was like, Oh no, it was just this one. Cause it was a free class and that's all I can afford. And she was like, Hey, if you ever want to go take classes there with me, she's like, I have credits. I will pay for you to come take a class with me, which I really appreciated. And she was like, please take me up on that offer. I'd love to have you there with me. Um, so I might. So I told you guys, my mom gave me some money for classes for my birthday, which I super appreciate. And that's what I asked for. But like after that, being in that class and how much I missed it and wanted to be back there, all I could think about was I wish that I could just take class whenever I want. And I knew that trying to get to Cincinnati Ballet to take classes all the time is not going to be easy. Like I'd probably try and schedule them and then it wouldn't happen. And I told my husband, I said, I think I want to use the money towards the floor in this room because that covers about half of what we need, I think to do the floor in this room, which then would allow me to be able to take classes whenever I want. Um, and he even agreed if that was going to cover like half of it, he did not mind taking the other half and just going ahead and doing it. So I think this weekend, because it's Labor Day, we're hoping the floor place has a sale. We're going to go look at the floor. And I think that's the plan is we're going to do it because I said, I need that. I really, truly need to be back in a studio 
or back in class and I just can't move well on this. My Marley mat is already small enough as it is to do a class on, but on top of that, I have an even smaller piece of plywood underneath it, which doesn't cover the whole mat. So I was like, I can't fit my bar up on with me and also do a class without falling off the other end of the mat. Like, it's just like, it doesn't work. I have all these great mirrors in here. I have a great space to dance in here. Other than the fact that we're over the garage, this so this room gets really warm in the summer and really cold in the winter, like that's really the only problem. And it has these stupid, weird slanting ceilings that I hate. I feel like it makes the room just look weird. But other than that, it is a great room to use. And my husband said, it's your room to do what you want with it, which I really appreciate. Because honestly, he's a minimalist. He doesn't need much. <laughs> and I need a lot. <laughs> but that's the plan. Um, I'm really hoping we can do it soon. I hope it's not too complicated. Like, we're going to do it ourselves. And neither of us are DIY home renovation people. I think my sister might be um, invited to come help us. Because she's really good at doing this stuff on her own house. And she wants to learn how to do it anyway. So, let's see. But I'm really excited because I just... I loved the feeling of being back in class. I had muscles hurting. I actually had to, we went to lunch after that. And then I walked around the dance store, which I really loved. I actually looked at Sensei Ballet merch because I really loved it. It's all in the color tones of the Jules um, ballets because that's what their big one is this year. So it's like green, dark red, dark green, dark red, and a cream colored stuff. But none of it was really my style. So I don't love their new logo. I really like the old logo. It just looked more elegant and ballet-like. The new one's just kind of more modern and I don't love it. Um, and Brad was like, I'll buy you anything from there for your birthday, but it's not in your color, so I don't know that you actually want it. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna like convince myself I want it and then not really want it. Um, they did have like a Stanley tumbler that said in Saint Valley, but it was blue and I was like, I want a pink one. So <laughs> we didn't. And then we went to the ballet store, but I'm like, okay, but I'm walking around, I can't buy anything. Like it's kind of hard for me. So um, after that, we actually just came back home, which I hate doing this on my birthday, which is the day I had off to do all this stuff just that I don't normally get to do. I was so burnt out from that class, like just worn out because I had to wake up super early to still get ready to go to class on time because class was at nine and it took us 45 minutes at least to get down there. So it was like waking up for a work day <laughs> and then finally getting down there doing this class, which was really hard on my body that hadn't done class in a while. And then like, I just like, I was like falling asleep at lunch and I was like, my husband was like, I think you need a nap. And I was like, I don't want a nap on my birthday. He's like, who cares? It's your birthday, go nap. So we came home and napped and then we went to dinner. But, and we took some more photos, which you guys have probably seen on my Instagram that I'm really excited about. I actually took some ballet photos again for the first time in a long time. And he did pose and partner with me for a little bit of it. Um, and they are some of my favorite photos. So if you haven't seen those, go check out my Instagram at Allie on Point, um, because those are some of my favorite photos we've ever taken. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. I, I really, really hope we can do this floor really soon. I just want to be able to dance again. Like all I could think about was like this feeling of like, I miss this. I miss that this used to be my life. And I was in class all the time. I was going to ballets all the time. My life was about sewing point shoes and watching ballet shows and reading ballet books. And I try to now, but there's just so much else in my life now. And I know that's just how life works. Like, you know, I have a husband now and like, there's just less time for our hobbies. Like he's had the same thing with some of his hobbies too. There's just less time because we're with each other more. And we're still kind of balance out that spending time together, spending time with friends, spending time with family, but also still doing our hobbies. So um, it's just it's just been an adjustment. Um, I want to be able to do more. I want to work out more. And I said to him, the only way that's going to happen is if I have ballet space. Like because he wants me to work out more. He wants me to be more healthy because we've both noticed we haven't been since we got married. Um, he goes on walks all the time, but like, especially when it's super hot out, I can't do that. I just can't, I, can't, I don't handle heat well. So I was like, I really just need that ballet floor. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so, but it, it was it was a weird feeling of like, I kind of explained it like feeling like, it's a weird feeling like almost like I'm mourning this part of me that doesn't seem to quite be there or that used to be there because my life is so different now. And it's not that there's not room for that. It just has to be in a different way. Um, and maybe as we progress in our marriage and stuff and get more comfortable and things, maybe that'll change. And especially once I have this floor in here, I can do a lot more ballet. Like right now I come in, I kind of stand on the floor and mess around and that's about it because I don't really feel comfortable doing much else on it. I'm not motivated to do a bar when I can't fit the bar on the mat with me. And then if I don't have it on the mat with me, it's like wobbly and it's like, I just can't. I was more motivated to stand down by the couch downstairs and hold onto the back of the couch than I am to do it up here. 
So that's what my plan is. I'd love to get back to doing all that, but um, I'm really excited and I hope that we can get this done soon. Like I said, I really wish that I could just keep doing classes. I wish I could just use the money my mom gave me to do classes, but like in the long run, I'm gonna get a lot more classes out of putting the floor in here than trying to make like, I don't know how many classes that would even get me. Not as many as you think. I think maybe 10 classes, if that. So, because the prices have gone up of classes too. They used to be like $15 a class and now they're like $20 a class. So doing a free class here where I can do all the Turn It Out With Tyler's or Catherine Morgan classes or whatever, I can do those here. And I can do them for free like I did all during COVID and get, in back, get back in really good shape. And that's where we're at right now. So it was a wonderful class. I really enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll still be back there occasionally. I have another friend who also reached out to me and said that she'd love to give me a wedding gift of taking a class with her at Cincinnati Valley, which was really sweet because I haven't seen her since the one time we took a class at Cincinnati Valley together when I first moved back here. Um, but yeah, so that that's all the updates right now. <laughs>